Now let's talk about the bra. I've been traveling with the AirPods Max since it's launched and I've got a lot of stuff to tell you because there's a lot that I like but there's also a lot that I don't like about traveling with the AirPods Max. I'm sure you guys know that I actually uploaded my experience with the standard AirPods and it was an experience that I hated. I did not recommend the standard AirPods for traveling. But with the AirPods Max, will that change? Are the AirPods Max perfect for traveling? Let's find out. I'm gonna tell you that I'm used to um, before we start getting onto the good and the bad, here's a power tip for you travel and AirPods Max users. You need to buy this expensive cable, this expensive piece of hardware that Apple sells. Aux to Lightning connector. Connect this to your AirPods Max and connect the other side to the tiny display TV that your airplane seat will have. So yeah, if you don't wanna wear those crappy headphones on airplanes. All right, let's start talking about the good. And by far the best thing about these AirPods is the sound quality. First of all, noise cancellation. Noise cancellation on the AirPods Max is incredibly good. You do not hear anything. You don't hear this or this or the baby crying on the back. You do not hear anything, which is a thing that I hated about the standard AirPods. And with the standard AirPods, you literally hear everything but your music, even though blasting your music at 100%. With the AirPods Max, you don't need to put your music at 100%. You simply turn on noise cancellation and you'll be able to hear your music perfectly fine. And if we're talking about sound quality by itself, I mean, I've already made my AirPods Max review. Links in the description if you guys wanna check that out. But spatial audio with this thing, there's literally 360 music coming from all over the place. Sound quality. Incredible. If we're talking about durability, the way that they're built, they feel like they are premium headphones. Now, is that good for traveling? Well, that's a separate story. Something that I really like about them is the ability to change the volume directly on the headphones itself. So when you're traveling, you're at the airplane, you don't have to mess around with your iPhone. You can simply directly do like that and pull up the volume directly on the headphones. All right, let's start talking about what I don't like about them for traveling because I'm just gonna say it right now. They are not the perfect headphones for traveling. First thing, let's talk about the build. They are very premium headphones, which means they have very premium materials, which means they are very heavy. So if you're on a really long trip, and you're wearing them all the time, your ears are gonna start hurting a bit. They are heavy, so you're gonna see some pressure on the top of your head. For an hour, for two, it's probably fine. For the third and fourth, it might hurt a little bit, and then for the fifth and sixth hour, you're gonna notice how heavy they are. So, they're heavy. Something else that I didn't like about them when traveling in particular, this might not seem a big deal for standard use, but specifically, when you're at an airplane, right? let's say you're using them, then when you wanna stop using them, the headband is so thick and it's so big. And when you're in an airplane seat, right? You're really, you wanna be comfortable, right? You don't have a lot of space. And then having a, this right here, I can't pull my neck down. So you gotta, if you wanna stretch your neck, you kinda gotta do like this. They are not comfortable headphones to wear on an airplane seat because of this headband. It's just, big. Now let's talk about the bra. Let's talk about the most controversial thing about these headphones, the case. Now, if you want me to be honest, um, I'm one of those people that I actually like the case. I like the way that this looks, but this video is specifically for traveling and this is not the perfect carrying case, right? You can't Fold these, first of all, you, the AirPods Max are not foldable, which makes them a little bit of a pain in the butt to travel with. Also, um, the case, um, you want it to be protected, right, when you're traveling, and you can't, they can't be protected, right? I have to say, a positive thing is that they're so nicely built that it's impossible to break. It's obviously, you can break it, but they're so well built that you can simply throw them in the bag and they should be okay. I haven't had any issues with them breaking or anything and I've been, I've been pretty rough with them. And the thing that could be scratched, that's where it is actually protected, right? So, ah. It's like a love and hate relationship. I wish Apple could sell a really protective case like this. I could just be even more rough with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
Apple just wants you to carry them like this, and I just want to put them in my backpack. But Apple wants everybody to see that you have AirPods, right? Because they are good looking. So, are the AirPods Max the headphones to travel with? I wouldn't say it's a horrible experience. I feel like every headphone, every product has its weaknesses, but with the AirPods Max, the weaknesses for traveling in particular are very big. So I wouldn't say that the AirPods Max are the perfect headphones for traveling. I feel like there's other options that are way lighter, that are way comfortable, that might not sound as good, that might not be in the Apple ecosystem, that not, might not be as sexy as the AirPods Max, they might not be as good looking, they or might not be Apple headphones, but if you're buying them for to travel, that might be a better choice for you. Even though the AirPods Max are a piece of headphones or a piece of hardware that yes, they are very expensive, but they are incredibly amazing. Go check out my review right now where I explain in depth everything about them apart from traveling. Go check it out. For traveling, they're kind of meh. They're good, but they're meh. Check this out.